Hello, my dear class five students, the smartest students. We are, this is your science teacher, Ben. I'm here especially for you. And today we'll start with our second chapter. That is very interesting. Safety first, clear? Safety first. But before we start our chapter, let's uh, do a quick recap of what we learned yesterday in the form of a quiz. Okay, in the form of quiz, and I'm sure you're all with me, okay? Are you ready? So, now, the first question, the first quiz would be, name the new trend, okay? This is all about the new trends, and yesterday we have discussed about the new trends present in the food, right? So now, we are talking about the new trends, but here it's about vitamin. So, which vitamin is good for an eye? Which vitamin is good for an eye? Yes, that's vitamin A, right? Vitamin A, which we get from carrots, egg, right? Now, the second one, name the vitamin that keeps our teeth and bones healthy. We get it from sunlight. What, what, what vitamin is that? Vitamin is that? That is vitamin D, clear? Okay, now, name the vitamin that protects our body from damage. Which vitamin was that, okay? That is vitamin E. Clear? Vitamin E. Now, the last one is about minerals, okay? Minerals. Name the mineral that fights cancer. Which mineral is that? Selenium, right? We studied yesterday. Okay, so that was a quick recap in the form of a quiz for our first chapter. And now, we'll start our second chapter, interesting chapter that is safety first. Okay, so students, uh, you are familiar with the word accident, right? Accident can happen anytime, any place, if you are not careful, right? So we should always be careful, we should always be obedient, we should be aware, alert, clear? Uh, because accident can occur anywhere. That's why there are many safety measures, there are many precautionary measures we have to follow. Now, uh, let's start with rot, clear? Because to go to school, you have to catch the bus, and then sometimes just to buy something, you have to go in a footpath, right? So now, first, let's talk about safety on rot. Safety on rot. Now, before we start this one, Whenever you are walking in the road or whenever you just, if you are going anywhere like to buy something or just to go to your friend's place, the first thing, you should be careful. Clear? Now, uh, if you want to cross the road, okay, if you, what you have to do is you have to look towards the right, look towards the left, right, and then only you have to cross if it's safe. Clear? And, uh, you should always apply, you should always take a zebra crossing, the zebra thing, black, white, black, white, you are familiar with that, you should always take that, clear? And students, my dear class five students, never try to get into a moving bus, clear? You, uh, maybe like for going to school, if you are just waiting, okay? Let the bus first settle down, uh, stop, and then only you get into the bus. Never get into a moving bus, clear? You should always uh, remind yourself regarding that. And then, even while inside the bus or inside the car, don't move out your head, okay? Don't, or don't just play, don't move your hand outside because it can be harmful, can be dangerous, clear? So safety on road, now you're all smart. I'm sure now you are aware of what to do, like in, uh, what uh, safety measures you have to apply while uh, you are walking, okay? Now, so safety on rot is done. Now, next thing is at home. Safety at home. At home. 
Now we all think that at home it's a safe place. Now, like uh, we, these days, we are all indoors, right, indoors. So now home, yes, home is the best place. Now uh, it's a safest place, but uh, home can, at home, it, it can also be a very dangerous if you are not careful. Clear? So uh, some certain things we'll discuss one by one, okay? Students, do you know your home address? Do you know your parents' uh, uh, mobile number, contact number? I'm sure you know, okay? If you don't know, you have to keep that in mind. The full address, the full, your contact, the contact number for your parents or elder siblings or your uncle, auntie, keep in mind, okay? Now, the second thing at home, you don't play with sharp, uh, sharp stuff like knife, uh, Blad, Caesar, you should always, you should not, not, don't play with those stuffs, clear? Because that can be harmful. Now, so, now at home, uh, if you are alone, keep the door locked, clear? Because anyone can come in, a thief, you have seen like in movies or anything can happen, clear? So at home also, like, it is the safest place, but it can also be a dangerous if you are not careful. And you're all smart students, I'm sure now you know what you have to do at home, clear? Now, uh, students, let's talk about uh, safety at, in, like, at home, yes, but in the kitchen. In the kitchen, okay? Under, it comes under the home, but at kitchen. In kitchen, uh, you know, like, kitchen is the busiest, busiest place at home, right? Because in morning, evening, like, preparation of food has to be done. So we use a fire in the form of uh, LPG or in any form, electric appliance are used. So you should be very careful, okay? And even in the kitchen, there are knives, right? There are sharp objects. Those are meant, those sharp knives are just meant for cutting the vegetables. Those are not meant for uh, having fun to play around, okay? So you should never play, you should never play around with those sharp objects, clear? Uh, those are just meant for cutting uh, for vegetables and stuff like that, clear? And now the matchstick, the matchstick which you have at home, I'm sure you all are familiar with the matchstick, okay? If you light the matchstick, make sure that while throwing, the fire is extinguished, fire is gone completely, okay? Then only throw, or else anything can happen from there. Dangerous stuff can lead from there, clear? Okay, now uh, in the kitchen, you try avoid using nylon cloths. Nylon cloths, because it can catch fire easily. Clear, students? And all the electric appliances that you use at home, be very careful. Either in the bathroom, or in, at room, or in the kitchen, the electric appliance, don't touch with your wet hand, okay? You should never touch the electric appliance, the sockets, the plug, the switch with the wet hand. You always keep your hand dry, then only you touch that. Clear? Okay, so uh, now we are done with the safety on road, safety at home, kitchen, bathroom, and all, right? Okay, no, and uh, the hair dryers, the electric, uh, the electric appliance like the shaving machine, we should never keep uh, those machines, the electric machines, near the top or the sink. Clear? Okay, so next thing we'll discuss is fire. Fire. Okay? Fire. Okay, fire. How will get fire? How, how can we catch fire? through electric appliance, through maybe kerosene, or through matchstick. There are many ways to catch fire, and uh, certain steps you can apply, okay? You can be of help, you can apply to, uh, to yourself, or you can, uh, you can even suggest to your friends, okay? You can share the knowledge. So now, fire, if it's uh, fire, if we, get a, if we catch a fire from electric appliance, you all, uh, what do you think, just to prevent that one? Uh, you, first thing, what you have to do is we call for help. Clear? My dear class five students, what you have to do, you have to call for help. And never throw the water. If it's the fire we are getting, we are catching the fire through electric appliance, then we should never throw the water out there, okay? 
because again the fire would increase. So don't throw the water there. And now if we are catching the fire because of kerosene or if it's because of uh, petrol or spirit, we should never throw water. If we throw the water, again, it will increase. The best thing is you have to throw sand. Okay, we have to apply sand. What is sand? The local name is Balu. Clear? So we have to apply that one. If we are catching a fire because of, uh, because of per petrol, kerosene, and all. Clear? And suppose, suppose if anyone, one, maybe a stranger, if, if you see if they're a uh, stranger, if uh, maybe like from your neighbor or anyone, if someone, if their house like catch fire, Okay, then uh, you should suggest first for a help before you do any like physical help. Clear you. Uh, so the thing that you have to do is you should never advise them to run. Okay, you should never advise if you if you catch a fire in your clothes, you should never run. Okay, you should never run. Instead, uh, the best thing is just take a curtain. Okay, from home, or you should apply a blanket or a cotton stuff like that and roll it. Okay, so that's some precautions to be taken to, like for fire. If anything catches fire, okay. So first thing, call for help. Okay, call for help. Okay, so uh, now we'll talk about uh, students. The next topic we'll talk about is first aid. First aid. Just a temporary help. First aid is a temporary help. Uh, if anything, if you if if anything happens, if you get a wound, if you get a hurt, if you get if you just get a a minor a minor hurt, then this first aid you should apply. Clear? Now, what you have to do anytime, like if there is any kind of danger, any kind of health danger, then you always have to call for a medical help. Clear? But before they arrive. Before, before they arrive, like you can uh, just take some precautionary measures. So that can be in the form of first aid. Just for a normal cut or a normal wound, what you can do is that you can, you can just clean the wound part, okay, with soap. You can do it this way and then you can apply antiseptic and then apply a bandage, clear? And see, every one of you li like pets, you have pets at home. So if you, if you get a, a dog bite, if you get a, if you get a cat a bite from a cat or monkey or stuff like that, now what you have to do, if it's just uh, normal, if a normal bite, what you have to do is, like the first thing is you, you should always approach the medical, you should, uh, you should call your vet, clear? But what you can do before, before they arrive is what you can do is you can just clean, you can clean the, you can clean the, uh, you can clean the worn part so that uh, you don't get a rabies. Because these animals, what they have is inside, they have all this, they carry, the, they have bacteria present, they have, so it will pass on. If, if they bite you, those, uh, those disease will pass on to your skin. So to prevent that one, what we have to do is we have to clean it, okay? We have to clean fast, and then we have to, uh, we have to go for a, a medical help and get injected. Okay, so that you don't get a rabies because they carry a rabies. Clear? Now, uh, if it's a serious like bite from animal like snake, the first thing, uh, medical help. You should always you should always call for a medical help. Clear? But before that, what you can do is, if okay, in a risk, if if a snake bite here, then what what will happen? Uh, they inject you with a disease, and this disease will flow all throughout your blood. So what you have to do is you have to prevent it for, from flowing, f flowing. So what you have to do is you have to tie your hand, okay, with a cloth, so that, uh, the, so that the poison, they inject you with poison, so that the poison doesn't spread like faster. It will, uh, it will prevent, it will, the flow of poison will be slower, okay? So you have to just tie with a cloth. Those kind of steps you can apply. Clear? Okay, student, so we have the last part. 
students, we have the last part, safety part that we can apply, that is fractured bone. Any one of you have gone like uh, fractured bones or something like that, you have like accident, you, go, you have sprained your ankle, or right? just normal, uh, normal sprain like in your bones. Always, if like that kind of like things has happened to you, then uh, don't move, okay? You should always consult the doctor. You should never, if it, if it happens to your friend, you don't try to move your friend, okay? You should always consult the doctor. Now, uh, these are the safety measures that we have discussed. You keep it in mind, clear? Now, uh, we have, we'll see the exercise part. We'll see some quick exercise we'll do because we are, we are done with the chapter. This is a very important chapter and I'm sure you have noted down, it's all stuck in your brain, like what to do, what not to do, do's and don't during all these accidents. Clear? So we'll quickly see some exercise. Okay, so students, we have concluded the chapter. Okay, this chapter, it's like I've said, very important. So since we have con concluded the chapter, let's quickly see some uh, questions, like quick questions from the exercise. So uh, let's see what will be the answer of this one. We should cross the road at, if you are trying to cross the road, then we should cross the road at zebra crossing, okay? Zebra crossing, zebra crossing. So that would be the answer. And now, okay, I have discussed about the fire, right? We can catch fire through because of short circuit from electric appliance or from uh, petrol, kerosene in many ways. But uh, the question here is, we should never throw water on fire caused by electricity, right? Electricity, clear? Keep this in mind. And on addition, uh, if a fire catches because of like petrol and kerosene, what you're advised to do? What you, what you, you should throw? A sand. Clear? Keep this in mind additionally. Now, the third one. We should cover the wound with a sterile bandage. I'm sure you are familiar with the word sterile bandage. Sterile bandage. Okay? So the other questions like um, in this exercise are all practical, okay? So whatever I have said, you just keep that in mind and you can write those, you can apply those, clear? Okay, now uh, I want to give you, I want to leave with uh, one assignment, okay? What you will do if someone catch fire? What uh, measures you will take, okay? So you can write in your own word like you can, okay, you, uh, the situation is either you can uh, catch because of electric appliance or true LPG. So you can write in your own points. You can write in your own points, list down, okay? You, can, you don't have to write that long, but you list down some points. And I'm sure you'll all do that, clear? So we'll start with our third chapter in our next class, which is again, very uh, interesting topic. So uh, thank you so much students to be continued in the next class.